Good afternoon and welcome back to another video. God bless you all. Hello, hello, hello. And good happy Friday today. Good afternoon. Happy Friday to you all and God bless you. I hope you all are joining your day. I hope you are having a wonderful day, a blessed day because you woke up this morning and you prayed or you have an inspiration quote that you use for you for the day or for the week to get you going to get you started and i hope you all had a really really wonderful day today and a blessed and wonderful day kids i hope you had a great day in school and it's the weekend everybody and parents i hope you had a great day at work it is the weekend so i hope you all are planning to do something fun this weekend today is july 5th 2022 and the time now is 4 33 p.m afternoon time here in the beauty room so make sure you turn on your notification bells so that way you will not miss any uploads that i do for new videos and future videos and yes right before i got started you seeing what i got and i have the t-shirt i gotta show the t-shirt oh my gosh ah, the spongebob t-shirt matching the spongebob makeup kit that i got and yes um i bought it with my own money and yes it was about 74 about 74 to 75 dollars so i rounded up to 76 dollars so yes we're going to get right into the box see what everything i'm going to use in the spongebob x makeup box i'm so happy i'm so blessed and proud of what i do because I hope I am inspiring someone or some people out there. And God bless you. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the beauty room. God bless you and welcome, welcome all subscribers, new subscribers. And welcome to the beauty room family. You are part of a wonderful, blessed family over here on the YouTube channel. And yes, so make sure you are subscribed, continue to subscribe, like. And definitely, I just want to say thank you all so much for your time your moments spending with me each and every video and just god bless you and thank you all so much for just stopping by for just watching my videos for just a few minutes from the beginning to the middle and to the very end god bless you all thank you so much it helps my channel out when you do on youtube and it supports me so thank you thank you once again you are such an amazing people and i'm so proud of what I do here on YouTube because I, I love makeup ever since I was 16 or 13 I'm um, 13 uh, a teenager coming here in Michigan you know being from California you know I never done YouTube when I was that age because I would constantly work 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 and then as now I've been on YouTube now and I'm just so proud of myself because I thought I would never do it within a couple years so i'm just proud of myself putting me out there into the youtube world and doing what i do and doing what's best for me on my channel and being positive staying positive so if you're nervous about something make sure you write your vision on a board or big huge paper or like art paper or anything that you want from like those um, bulletin boards from like you can get it from walmart you can get it from target um if you want to put your inspiration paper on there your vision your focus or if it's for just a vacation for you and the family for next summer or still for this summer because it's still summertime here and yeah um so yeah um or if you want to do your own like your own business it can be involved in makeup lipstick how what however and whatever dreams and goals you have please stay focused don't give up because when you give up you know you're just giving up on your dreams so please don't give up continue to stay positive stay focused you got this so i just want to put that inspiration out there for people if you're nervous you know want to do youtube or if it's not youtube or like i said starting your own business like your cupcake business even the cake business you know inside your home because what i used to do is i used to start my youtube videos let me show you not on this phone but on the other phone that i had um before i met hamilton so yes i started my youtube videos on here onto my phone that's how i got started and then after i met hamilton um we been together for two years you know and we're getting married this month at the end of this month 
um, and he had loaned me his laptop, or he gave me his laptop actually to start more of my videos so you can see what I do, what I have a passion for, what I love so, so much dear from my heart and I'm just truly blessed and grateful to have him in my life um, as well but I'm grateful and blessed to start this YouTube channel so like I said if you're afraid of something just try it because you may never know you if it's doing YouTube you know and you think you're not going to get the subscribers you think you're not going to get the views oh I just do it a couple times you may you may never know so keep pushing so keep going at it so do not give up on your dreams and goals whatever you have focus i'm just talking to you all right now before i start this video um yes yeah, so make sure you are stay focused because if i can do it and stay focused and be positive you know there's some days before while i was getting into it and i wasn't getting that much subscribers i wanted to give up totally give up just cancel everything that i have i said you know what god i said thank you lord jesus for giving me mind peace of mind in a brain because you know because like with the devil he comes at you he comes at you hardcore he comes at you in every direction of your life but you got to take that negativity and put it in a trash put it in the back of your mind put it in your trash and put it in the back of your mind because you know you can do this you can do anything that you put your mind to it does not matter what color you are height you are race your sexuality it does not matter because look at me i'm a diabetic type 2 and i have um like i have a disability you know but i don't put it out there because you know that's personal to me but you know what god is so good because he because he pushed me he god pushes me and hamilton pushes me my family pushes me on my mom's side and also on my dad's side you know my and, my and my cousins pushed me so everybody in around me that loved me they pushed me to do better that i know i can actually do this okay all right well let me see what video you know i i want to do or do because i never thought in a couple years in 2020 that i wouldn't get as much as subscribers as i did when i first started youtube i did it just a couple videos so okay all right looking good okay let me let me keep going let me keep pushing keep push myself because you know sometimes in your mind you know you think that you're not going to do good or if it's like a test you know that you have to take in school i'm talking to your kids as well so i'm talking to basically everybody but you know and keep you know with kids you know you know you go ahead, all right well i don't think i'm gonna do good on this test because i studied and studied for like a week or two you know, and now it's now it's the test day at school. You know, and um, you know I don't think I'm gonna do good because I'm not focused. I'm not ready. But make sure you, that the day of the test, make sure you have a good balanced breakfast, orange juice. You know, take a couple bottle of waters with you. You know, and get your mind ready for that test because you will pass that test. You know, young you know young ladies and young and young gentlemen, you will pass that test. And then all of a sudden, a day or two, you're like, wow, I got a B plus. Oh, okay, I got an A. I got an A plus. You know, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's who you think first. You got to put God first, okay? So please put God first in your life. It does not matter what age you are. You could be a young teenager and a young adult, adult that's in your 30s, your mid-30s, your 40s, mid-40s, 50s, 60s, and up. Because that's what I do. I put God first in my life. But that's just my religion, though. That's my religion. That's just me. Because um, since I was born, I would, you know, I go to church, you know. But and as I got, you know, a year old and more and more and more, more every year, that's how my parents, you know, raised me, basically, in church. You know, I'm not a preacher's kid, but, you know, but my parents, you know, raised me in church and it's plus you know on over the weekends you know how you go with your grandparents you know and you know they on sundays you know that's your last day spending with your grandparents for that just for that occasionally weekend and they take you to church it's nothing wrong going to church you know praising and glorifying god there's nothing wrong with that but you don't have to go to church to praise god you can do it in your bedroom you can do it in your home you know you can have a bible study with just a few people from your church uh, you can have just you and two or three people if you want 
it's, it doesn't matter what religion. It could be Baptist. It can be Christian. You know, it does not matter. You know, even if, with Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, that I had a friend when I was younger and um, before my mom and I, way before we left California, you know, before we left California, came to Michigan. This when I was like, I want to say seven or nine years old. And she was a Jehovah's Witness, but she was the coolest kid, you know, that I know. And she, you know, made me feel comfortable around her because she lived next door to me. So, you know, we lived next door to, to one another, you know. And we became really, really good friends. And she was a Jehovah's Witness, but I don't know what she's doing now, you know, as we're adults and older now, you know. But you know what, with my childhood friends that I had when I was little, we all grew up in California and, you know, we just became different people, you know, in different areas in our lives, you know, which I haven't seen them in over 30 years now, you know, but that's okay, you know, so, but whatever your religion is or whatever you have a passion for, please write it on a vision board that's like at the Dollar Tree for like a dollar twenty-five, you know, for all their items now. And also check out your Dollar Tree because they have different items every week. So I was going to think about going to Dollar Tree today, but which I probably will tomorrow. So I'll do a video about that tomorrow or what I've gotten. So stay surprised and stay viewed. Subscribe, comment, and like to this YouTube channel called The Beauty Room. God bless you if you did. And welcome to the video. Welcome to the beauty room once again god bless you all you are such an amazing people i love you all so much from my heart from my passion god bless you for just sticking around with me and if you're a new subscriber thank you all so so much because with the growth and the success of my youtube i want that you know to be that for me you know and i will never ever ever forget about you all you all be coming with this journey with me. We'll be journeying it together. You know, just basically what I'm trying to say is just stay positive with one another. Pray for one another, you know. And uh, it doesn't matter, you know, if you're in a grocery store or like at a mall or, you know, or at a shopping store like Target, Walmart, uh, Dollar Tree, um, Burlington's, you know, or, you know, Marshall's, Ross, you know, and you got to have patience with people that's in front of you, you know, or that's behind you, if it's an elderly person, you know, but just anybody, just have patience and stay humble. Please stay humble, continue to pray for another, just be positive, you know, be there for your family, for your friends as much as you can, and just be there for yourself as well, too, and just you know, love one another, love yourself, you know, so that's just what I just want to say for just that 12 minutes, I'm sorry, almost 13 minutes, but we're going to get right into the video, so we're going to see what's in this box of Spongebob X, and this is by Wet n Wild Spongebob X, um, beauty, Spongebob Squarepants, Squarepants X by Wet n Wild, and this is their collab with uh, Nickelodeon, I don't know if you remember Nick Colonial because I know I do. Just like very vague, you know, from Wet n Wild and from Nickelodeon because I used to watch Nickelodeon when I was um, coming up, you know, and then also as a teenager too. I definitely watched um, uh, Nickelodeon. So I'm opening up the box now. I really do love the box. So I'm definitely going to definitely make sure I keep the box. And I'm going to show you what they have. So with Wet n Wild, this is limited edition. So definitely make sure if you can try to get this. Check out Wet n Wild, www.wetnwild.com. I'll leave it in the description box below so you can see what you can still get with limited edition with collaboration through Wet n Wild. I really, I'm going to really like these items. So I got this last year because i just been so busy last year. I didn't do a video of, of, about Wet n Wild Spongebob, but I wanted to do it now, this year, because it's summertime, it's still summertime, it's still amazingly hot outside, <laughs> so yes, but your girl, it's definitely cool, it's cool in here in the beauty room, so yes, because God has plans for us, so God has plans for you, and God has plans for me, with this YouTube, with this YouTube channel, the beauty room, so I'm grateful and blessed each and every day, to show you my talents, to show you what I have in the beauty room, 
and the things that I like. And if I pray and hope you can find them at your local stores that I tell you to shop at. You know, but if you have your own taste and your own style, definitely rock it because you will look super good. Okay. Who, you know, whoever and whatever that you do. Okay. So I'm just going to just show you. But the first thing I want to show you is this is their Wet n Wild sponge and brush cleaner through Wet n Wild. I want to show you this. And what you got to do is just take your brushes. I'm going to show you as well. This is just their cleaner. And you um, wet your brush. And then you put uh, just go around with your brush like that to the cleaner. And it basically gets your brushes very clean. I really like this container. Let me show you. It's super cute. This is Gary on here. And I love the design to it. Because look at the design. It's like super cute. It's like a sea. Like the sea, you know how SpongeBob lives underneath the, you know, in the sea. So this is super cute. I love that, and I think they have the movie of SpongeBob SquarePants. So check it out. I want to say on either Nickelodeon or I could be wrong. Try Disney Plus. So you know, if you want to have like a family night or something like that. But yeah, check out Nickelodeon first. If they don't have it, try um, Disney Plus. Or check out whatever you know cable service that you have you know but yeah but this I want to say that's like four dollars four dollars and ninety eight cents to seven dollars and ninety eight cents this is their brush and sponge cleaner for your brushes and then this is the case that uh, this is by what and while this is the pineapple house that SpongeBob lives in and this was about seven dollars and ninety eight cents to four ninety eight so this is super cute I'm going to show you what this looks like. Okay, so this is the top. And it's kind of like rubbery. So, and I like the design too of the inside of it. Super cute. It's just like, you know, paper. But it just gives you a design and then everything with Spongebob. And Gary and yep I like that so this is where you can um, put like your brush in here like one of the and I'll show you those two as well put your brush in here and then just leave it onto your vanity table like that if you have like a shelf I'll make sure yep my husband is home he just got off work so my hammy just got off work but yeah if you have like a shelf that, you know has like a three four tower shelf and you want to put it like right there like that oh, probably can't see it put it onto your shelf like that you definitely can and that'll be super cute and adorable so then this is the other brush this is the flake kabuki brush this is with spongebob on it yeah super cute and yes this is about four dollars and 98 cents now this will be good for everything falls so that's okay but this would be good for your contour like your your contour or your bronzer definitely just make sure you use contour just like that from there like that like that this would be super cute this is four dollars and 98 cents and then this is the other brush this is sandy this is sandy the wet and wild kabuki brush as well super cute i really like it because it's pink the brush bristles and I really, really, really like this one. This was between $4.98 and $7.98. So, this is adorable. So, that was really, really cute. Super cute. Hi, babe. Uh -huh. Hey, Sammy. <laughs> How's work? All right. So, yeah, Sammy, you finally saw one. So, yeah. But that is Sandy. So, yep, that. And then this is. Now, this one is the Purifying Setting Mist Spray. We're going to use this as well. This just really gets your face, you know, looking glowy after when you're done putting all on your makeup. 
so yes that is that one this was like 498 and then this one is the BFF best friends forever that's what I have as my best friend toy that's what I always tell her my BFF this is the hydrating plus brightening primer mist so you will want to apply the primer mist first onto your face before you apply your foundation your concealer and then after you apply your makeup everything else and then you want to apply this afterwards so yes and let's just try to spray mm, it has like a light type of scented smell doesn't smell that bad and then let's spray this one this is the the uh, per frying per frying setting mist so let's try this one let's say let's see this one i like how the mist is on it mm, that one has like a light scented smell as well so i'm going to really like those those as well we want to start trying to just clean up a little bit here and then this is the highlighter i'm trying to get it out you wait let's see if i can get it out oh man oh boy oh I'm getting it. Got it. Yay! <laughs> Tell me. Yep, so this is the SpongeBob Highlighter Eliminator. And this one, everything that I've shown you so far is limited limited edition. So definitely check out Wet and Wild. And if you don't see it in stores, definitely check out wetandwild.com. I highly recommend that you do because they these are some really really cool items so this is like that one and this is like trophy wife um from i can't think of that name but and it also has spongebob on it so let's just try it this is the highlighter wow yes so we're gonna apply this one to my face so yes and then this is the palette so this is the palette we're going to apply Yay. so this is it I'm going to open it up I want to keep that limited edition onto the package but it has where you can tear off you know like the little the tape part and it does not that's the sad thing about it they don't have the names like in the inside but they have it like on the back so I'll have to say the names that I use for this palette for today on the um to you all so that way you all can know what I'm using. We're going to use that and the highlighter and then this is another uh wet and wild sponge and brush cleansing pads. So when you're done using these brushes, this brush and the other brushes I'm going to show you. You definitely um, use whatever cleanser that you use to get brush, and then just brush it because they have all types of different um, things. With this, and this was also four dollars and ninety eight cents. So it's like a hamburger patty. So this is where you can um, use this to cleanse your brush. This is the the top bun, and this is the lettuce. And then this is the question mark of the hamburger patty. But yeah, there you go. Like that. And then this is the bottom of the hamburger bun. You can use it for. And yeah, and I wish they would make it like how it would just, hmm, just like that maybe or something like that. But it's okay. You know, I'm going to test it out and do a video of that. I'll let you know how I use, or how I use, how I clean my makeup brushes with using the spongebob um crabby patty you know with their items in here and also i'm gonna show you how i use this as well so those are the two things that i'm going to show you what i use and how i use them okay so that's gonna go there okay so next then this one is the a makeup sponge this is the squirt squirted this is this one 
super cute. I'm going to use that one next time. And then this one is the um, Patrick. So you could definitely use this for like your nose because it has like that um, square part like right there. You can use it for your nose when you are putting on to your finishing powder. You definitely use it for your concealer, your uh, finishing powder, or your uh, foundation. So you could definitely use it for that or your bronzer. And then it has like the bottom part if you can see that. The bottom part, this is also $4.98. Last and last only, this is the SpongeBob makeup sponge brush. I mean makeup sponge, sorry, not brush, but makeup sponge. You definitely use that for your foundation. Super cute with SpongeBob on it, and this was also $4.98. So let's get started into these two items here. And we're going to also use um, we we'll already used this already before I filmed, so but I just wanted to, you know, show you that. But going to use this one right here, so you can see how the glow of it goes. So yeah, let's start off with using the eyeshadow palette, and yes, and love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to start off. With the hamburger, it's called Pretty Patty. I'm going to use that one as my transition shade right there. And I'm just taking a brush from the AOA Studio. Because um, with the Wet n Wild limited edition package like this, it does not come with brushes. So you can use any brushes that you want for you to get whatever look that you are going for. I'm just going to use... Uh, maybe like two colors not much yeah. so far so good and I already um, primed my eyelid and I already used what I wanted to use for my face and I also set my face also as well so as you can see like right there yeah this is not too bad I'm gonna um, use this more often so I want to just make sure that when you apply your eyeshadow to make sure that you get every thing that you want. And I'm only just going to use like two eyeshadows out of this palette. But I'm going to continue to use it more though. Because I want to really show you all how this really looks. And now so far it looks good. Now for the outer corner I'm going to go for... It's called Secret Formula. This is it right here, Secret Formula. I'm going to use that. Put it right, right on the inner corner. I hope you all can see it. It's not that bad too it's pretty good so yeah not bad at all so I'm going to go in with um, it's called IE IE captain and I'm gonna just put it like right there in the middle and I'm gonna put like something like right here in the corner so I'm going to use a different brush put this down here on the floor I'm going to use a different brush. So this brush is from Shein, from Shein. So, and look at that sparkle. Let me show you. Oh yes! Wow, very very good formula too. It's not that bad at all. Very very good. And I just want just to. Do a little something something not to you know too harsh you know too much today so yeah so far so good yes I really do like it yes and now we're gonna continue with all with this eye and then we're gonna take 
what I have or to this brush, but I'm going to apply a little bit more to get that precise look that I want, like right up here. And if you're a beginner into makeup, you know, just try your best and keep on trying. Do not give up. Because when I first applied makeup to myself <laughs> years ago, I was not the best at it. I wasn't a pro. I didn't go to school or nothing for it. I just did what I could because I have hooded eyes. So this does not look bad. I think I did pretty good. And also, make sure you have a mirror too to check it out too. Just, you know, just to give yourself a good, you know, look. This is cute. Oh, wow. I did really good. I did too bad. And also, like, sometimes with the fallout, too. One second, sorry. What I was trying to say with, like, with the fallout, too, it'll give you fallout just, a, like, very little. So, you want to um, apply your eye shadow first to your eye after you're done with your eyebrows. Do your eye shadow look first, you know, so that way um, it won't do a look like how fallout. But it's okay because all this is coming off anyway. So, a few minutes. <laughs> Well, let's continue on with the video and yes and then on my lips i have a lip balm on my lips which is from shop miss a which is a dollar and that is the strawberry i'm sorry not partial right but peach this is the lip balm that um that i put on my lips before i did my video so it's gonna go on to this right here and just apply it and this is a very, very pretty color, too. It does not look bad, bad at all. It's very, very pretty. Not bad at all. Very, very pretty. And then also, too, if you're beginning makeup, too, you can use, like, clear um, tape, you know. Or you can use those e.l.f. Um, tape, like, for that we can get that real nice slanted look that you want when you apply your eyeshadow to your eyelids before you apply everything else onto your face. That is a very good thing. And they're about 3 to $6 from Target. You can find them at, I know definitely for sure at Target. If not Target, look online to Walmart.com. Definitely check out Target.com too. If you have like a Target card, you can get like I think a percentage off or whatever. You can put it onto your Target card. So we're going to go into that IE IE Captain uh, shadow right there. And I'm going to do some more looks with this palette. I really do like it so far. This is only my first time using this palette. So not bad at all so yes not bad at all hey wow not bad at all I keep going the opposite wrong way because I'm left-handed so <laughs> yes I'm a lefty okay so that is looking good how I want it to look and I'm going to take this brush this is from Sheen I'm going to put that much glitter on I hope I don't
Oh yes. Wow, this looks very good. And then you just brush out just a little bit. It looks really, really good. Okay, so that is done. I'm going to continue to use this palette so you can see more of SpongeBob. I got you. I got you. So yes, I'll put this right here for a momentarily. So now with this brush, you can also use this as a highlighter too. So you can definitely make sure that you do that. You can use it for a highlighter. You can use it for a bronzer, you know, so yeah. Definitely do that. Stay. Okay. Don't stay. That's all right. So now we're going to apply this highlight that I never ever used. I want to just try it. Because I don't want to put too much on. I just want to see how it looks. Ooh. Ooh. A little goes a long way. Yes, definitely. When you apply this, make sure that you don't put a whole lot on like I just did. Wow, and I put it way up here too. Oh my god, I'm such a goofy. Such a goofball. I tell you I'm goofy. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm very goofy. So, yeah. It looks really good. I really, really do like this. And make sure that you, you know, when you apply your highlighter, make sure you put it down. Yep. So, yep. That is it of the highlighter from SpongeBob SquarePants. This brush is very good. So far, I really do like it. And now, we're going to apply my lip gloss. This is in 008 Stone from Maybelline. And this is the Maybelline Lift Lip Gloss. This looks really good with it. I'm going to apply a little bit more gloss from my local dollar. I mean, not local dollar. But from my beauty supply store that I shop at. To apply just a little bit more gloss. That's that. And mascara. And this also will look really cute with some lashes. So, you know, I'm trying to work on lashes. You know that. And I'm going to apply... Which one do I want to use today? I always use this one. Let's see. Let's go for the Maybelline New York the the Fossies Lash Lift. Let's go for that today. And I forgot to curl my curl my lashes with my highlight curler. So definitely do that before you apply your mascara. So this kind of gives me a, like a little lift. This don't look too bad. But yeah, make sure you apply your, um, apply, I mean, not apply, but use your eyelash curler before you apply your mascara. That's what I was trying to say at first. Duh. You know, me and my words just are not working out today. But that is okay. It's Friday. It's Beauty Friday here in the beauty room. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to put any at the bottom or anything like that, but you can, you know, if you're going somewhere, look, you want to look cute with some falsies. Yes, so this will look real cute with some falsies. But yeah, this is of the look. Definitely give this video a thumbs up, comment, like, and subscribe to the beauty room. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you will never, ever miss an upload from me, the beauty room. And yes, and have a blessed and wonderful weekend. Have a blessed Friday. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy life. 
and stay humbled and stay positive god bless you all and i will see you next video uh, before i go this is what i also use to to clean my makeup brushes this is the dr bronner's 18 in one hemp peppermint pure cast castle soap this is in a dark blue bottle and i'm about halfway done so this does last for about 24 months so i have this for about six months already and i'm almost done i gotta get another bottle of this from target or walmart and i think it's between like at target like 10.98 um i know that for sure probably or probably went up a little bit more and then walmart has it maybe for like 11.98 i'm really not for sure but definitely check out those two stores if you like that brand because i really like it i mean one use um, it gets my makeup brushes extremely clean so definitely pick that up if you want to try something new for your makeup brushes to get clean within a few minutes and i hope you all have a great friday have a blessed one stay safe and positive like i said and stay humbled um, I love you all so much from my heart and God bless you all. You are the best people in the world. I love you all and I'll see you next video. Have a blessed weekend. Stay safe, okay? Bye-bye.